Mike the disgruntled mechanic here going to change the distributor out in the uh, 2000 Honda EX I'll show you um, how I do it and what I'm going to do here to get this thing out and get the other one in got the uh, brand new eBay one in hand here it is so let's get started so the first thing I'm going to do is take this air box off make room to get in there then next I'm just going to take this cap off and lay that to the side for now That way I'll just be able to put the plug wires right off that one on the new cap. So next what I'm going to do, and I just feel safe for doing this, is I'm going to take number one plug out. We're going to bring this up and set it on number one uh, top dead center compression. Yeah, it, could, it could be close right where, it's it, where it is. So I'm going to go over to the other side. The tires are already off. And... Um, We'll go about doing that. Let's get this number one plug out. Looks like it's burning pretty good. So now let's get it up on uh, number one up on top dead center compression. So what I'm doing now is removing this cover here to get to the uh, front um, crankshaft pulley dampener and turn it manually to get it up on number one top dead center. And there is the prize. And what I have here is my little <laughs> whistle that'll tell me when it is up on compression. I bought this years ago. This thing is ancient. It's more of the hose isn't more corroded. But um, let's uh, see how we make out. Hey, what about that? It's right up on compression. Can't beat that. Alrighty. So now if we want to check it, 
we can put, uh, let's see, where's our number one for sure? This here one on the cap is number one, and if we put our cap on, the way we used to do it in the old days, pretty close. So we could back up just a hair, I guess, but um, we're real close. These are keyed that they can only go in a certain way, but I just like to have every possible chance of it going right. So that's why I did that. So we'll unhook this. All right. And then we'll take out our three bolts and see if this pulls out. So there we go, I'll just unhook what I have to unhook here as far as wiring, because i got another one here, and then uh, we'll put the other one in. And just while I'm thinking about this, if you weren't putting a new one in, you could actually mark the top of this to where you were to try and keep the timing in, but we're going to have to re-time this just to make sure it's right. We're going to get some oil. I just about forgot about it and oil up these little O-rings. Alrighty, we got it oiled up. We got this pretty close, I think, to where it was. Let me move tools out of here before I get them freaking going all over the place. Mr. O-ring. Ah. 
there we go everything seems seated so now we'll put the bolts and everything together and see what happens put our holder on here well, we got the holder we just got to change things alrighty so let's get that together and um, I'm just gonna do this here stuff I'll be back to tighten it up and everything where we're gonna set it so we'll just put these bolts back in and tighten well sort of tighten them up and I am going to set this up close to where I see the uh, witness marks on this old one and we'll go from there as far as the timing and stuff so we'll continue to put these bolts in I think I got it set about where the other one was so I'm just gonna put these bolts in and snug them and try to figure out about where I want to set this and when I get that hooked up the wiring when I go to put the cap on I'll be back so we got those three outer bolts snugged up I got it about where the witness marks were so let's plug our wiring back in the right way that one's plugged in that's plugged in so now that should be number one right about there where we have that and it looks close so this is the old cap so we're gonna get the new cap and we're gonna put the wires on the new cap and then put the whole cap back on So one, so I just wanted to go double check that I had things right and apparently I do have the spark plugs right. So we're going to put our spark plug back in, take our apparatus eye out, put our spark plug back in, tighten this cap up, uh, go through everything one more time and then fire it up hopefully. hope everything goes right oh yeah oh yeah
so I got the negative battery cable to hook back up and check one or two things out what the hell Zell. <laughs> and then we'll fire it up all right so the moment of truth So I'm going to finish putting everything back together here. We know it starts. And then I actually am going to time it. And I think I'll save the timing for another video. So tune in if you'd like to see it. So anyhow, this is Mike the Disgruntled Mechanic saying just remember, if you can get somebody else to do it, you're probably better off. Thanks for watching. See ya. Oh, you dirty rotten Bull, how could you break off? You dirty rotten mother! Oh, dirty rotten! How dare you break? It, oh, I can't believe it broke off! Not again! Oh man alive! Son of a! Oh, I can't believe it broke off! Jesus! No wonder I'm the disgruntled mechanic!